Hey Harry Potter fans, Peter Kenneth here. Welcome back to the Potter Collector channel where we are a community of collectors. Today I am opening up something pretty crazy. <laughs> this is something that was offered to me a little unexpectedly and it's going to instantly jump into the crown jewels of the Potter Collector collection. I'm just gonna open it. This is something from Giles Greenfield. Giles Greenfield did the first edition cover artwork for Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire, as well as the design for Harry Potter and the Order of the Phoenix. I purchased some artwork from him in the past. We've emailed back and forth and talked to the phone. He's a really fantastic guy. And he offered me this piece, which really I can only dream of owning. As you can tell, I'm, I'm not really like my normal self. I'm, I'm a little speechless. It's an honor to own this, I'll, I'll, I'll say that. I'm freaking out, I'm starting to, I'm starting to freak out. It's a book, it's a black, black book. Give me a second. Okay, I'll read a little, little portion of this note. This sketchbook was mostly produced between 2003 and 2008. Interspersed throughout the book are numerous rough compositional and conceptual drawings on layout paper, which were used as the basis to finish illustrations. This is Giles Greenfield's Harry Potter sketchbook. It is filled with roughs and some finished roughs. Oh my gosh. You are dying to see, and I am dying to see. But I mean, these are these are this is this is how Giles Greenfield envisioned Harry Potter, the Harry Potter series. But here is a sketch of Mad Eye Moody, as well as Dumbledore. And this is the first time I'm going through this, so we're going through this together. Oh wow, yeah. Oh. Different scenes. Here is the ton tongue toffee scene, as well as the dark mark scene after the Quidditch World Cup. And his interpretation of characters and creatures is just out of this world. This is a rough of the finished rough that I own that Giles had done that I purchased in, I think, 2014. But it's this one here. So it shows Madame Maxime and Dumbledore and then Harry's name coming out of the Goblet of Fire. If you've seen other past videos or my Instagram account, you've seen this before, but this is his rough of my finished piece. And then over here, we see Mad-Eye Moody entering the Great Hall. There are notes and references to sections of the book where he drew the inspiration for for these pieces. The dragons, the four champions. So this shows Rita Skeeter pulling Harry in front of the the rest of the group to take a picture for the Daily Prophet. And then here we have the four dragons. Blast in its roots. I know you probably want to see all this stuff and one day I will I will share this book in its entirety, but I'm gonna keep some of it to myself for now. Padfoot returns scene, so we see Ron and Harry and Buckbeak and Hermione and Sirius in in his in the cave that he's hiding in. Giles even went further than Goblet of Fire and did the other books. So there are sketches and rough sketches and ideas about the other six books. Here's an example of some very roughs. This is from Chamber of Secrets. Rough sketches just to, just to get his ideas on paper. Here are some more Goblet of Fire roughs, including a rough of his back cover artwork, which is this. This is loaded, packed. This is any collector's dream. Look at this series. We have Voldemort's Return, The Sphinx, Dumbledore in the Pensive, The Bogart in the Maze, The Blast in its Scroot, The Spider, oh my goodness. I feel very serious, which is weird. Look at that sketch of a dragon. How beautiful is that? Here's Order of the Phoenix, which Giles would have illustrated, um, but that's not my story to tell. <laughs> I love his umbrage so much. <laughs> this is Chamber of Secrets. Aunt Petunia and Uncle Vernon. This piece here just screams magic. Look at that. That's of course Harry bowing to Buckbeak in Prisoner of Azkaban. Voldemort and Dumbledore's duel. 
in the Ministry of Magic. This is just very cool. This is his Phoenix, which the concept was ultimately used in the Order of the Phoenix cover artwork. Look at that gorgeous, gorgeous Phoenix. You can see how it's just bursting from the fire, as is true for the cover artwork. Severus Snape. Various magical creatures. This is a prized possession. In the future, I will share more of this, as well as more of Giles' story, with his permission, of course. Here are some loose pieces that he sent along with, with the, the sketchbook. I love his troll. And then there's that phoenix again. It's absolutely insane that this is in the Potter Collector collection. Giles, if you are watching this, a huge thank you for trusting me and giving me the honor to be this sketchbook's caretaker. I know what this means to you. I will take great care of it and I will love it and enjoy it. And someday we'll share it with Harry Potter fans all over the world. If you have any questions about Harry Potter, Harry Potter collecting, or anything else, please feel free to leave a comment down below. You can also reach me on Instagram at The Potter Collector. It may take me a little while to get back to you, but I will do my best to get back to you. Now it's time to like, comment, subscribe, and until next time, keep collecting. Thank you so much for watching. If you're new here, welcome. You can subscribe right up here. You can also look at some previously posted content down here. If you have any questions about Harry Potter books or collecting, please feel free to contact me. I'm always happy to help. But for now, I must go. See you next time. Whoa, where'd he go?